I'm Greg Fosshauer from the Illinois Institute of Technology in Chicago. I'm here at the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair. We're presenting the AMS. We're going around talking to all sorts of candidates in the math category. Would you like to introduce yourself? Um, sure. My name is Siddharth, and I'm a senior from Oregon. And uh, what's your project about? Could you tell us a little okay. bit? So my project is titled Complexity of Interlocking Polyominoes. So right there, there are two important keywords. A polyomino is a shape formed from n fused unit squares. So for example, uh, the Tetris shapes are all polyominoes with four squares. Um, and a system of shapes is interlocked if it can't be separated by any kind of rotation or translation or any series of rotations or translations. Um, and the goal of my project was just to investigate which kinds of polyominoes could be interlocked and which kinds of polyominoes um, can always be separated. And uh, what I eventually was able to find is that uh, I proved that pentominoes and smaller polyominoes uh, can't interlock. I found that a system of polyominoes containing hexominoes uh, or larger polyominoes can interlock. And I found that determining the interlockedness of a system containing hexominoes is p-space hard. So basically it's computationally uh, intractable to determine if a system of polyominoes is interlocked. Before I did this project, we knew that uh, tetrominoes couldn't interlock, and we knew that determining the interlockedness of a system of arbitrarily large polyominoes was p-space hard. So basically, I've managed to fill in a gap with an existing knowledge about this problem. Um, a couple of places in which this problem could be applied is, uh, for example, um, in protein folding. Um, so uh, interlocking shapes might be a useful model for um, understanding why rigid proteins are so rigid. Um, if polypeptides were interlocked, they would make for very rigid proteins because in order to separate uh, the polypeptides, you would not only have to break the bonds connecting those polypeptides, but you'd actually have to change the internal structure of the polypeptides. Um, another place it could be applied is in um, robotics. So for example, um, you know, one of the most important problems in robotics is, uh, you know, let's say you have a robot inside a room and the room's full of objects and boxes and the robot has to uh, move all the objects aside and get out of the room. Um, so how does the robot you know, move all those objects apart? It turns out to be quite a difficult problem because you're planning the motions of a lot of different objects. And uh, my project could be applied to that because my project deals uh, with which kinds of shapes can be separated and which kinds of shapes can't. And I actually come up with algorithms to separate certain uh, special classes of shapes. Uh, just more generally, um, my project is uh, a mathematical model and um, all mathematical models can obviously help us understand uh, other mathematical models. Um, so like I said before, my project is p-space hard and other p-space problems include uh, packing, like, so like packing ob uh, objects into a box or uh, motion planning, so planning the objects, uh, motions of several different objects at once. And so in, those are uh, generally the areas which my project is related to and which my project can help us uh, better understand. Okay, thank you. What's your general impression about this fair? Um, well, I think it's really cool that we get to meet people from all over the world and all over the United States. Um, that's my favorite part of this fair. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you.